Hey, this is Jack over at Dominion. Got a, uh, another property out here for you. I'm out on the 2500 block of Denison. This is 2529 Denison in the uh, kind of the Gwynn's Falls area. And I uh, got a property that we picked up. I want to take you inside. It's a nice uh, little porch front, just a strip of three properties here. Real well maintained houses. It's a nice little spot, really. Let's go inside, check out what we got. All right, got this kind of big foyer area, living room, the mirror on the wall, that's me, and the original hardwood floors. Trim looks in pretty good shape. A lot of plaster, just a little spot up there that needs some attention, probably from a plumbing leak upstairs in the bathroom. Uh, here in the uh, living room area, got a lot of paneling. She looks in real good condition, the paneling does. Some wallpaper on the walls, but the walls are in, uh, are in real good shape. We have to replace the lighting fixtures and uh, sand and poly the floors here. Let's check out the kitchen. Chicken kitchen, you got this uh, vinyl peel and stick on the floor. It's going to have to come up. Cabinets are in okay condition. At a minimum, you're going to replace the uh, Formica countertop and the appliances. Um, may, act may end up having to replace all the cabinets. They look alright though. Well, that'll be a judgment call. Let's check out the backyard. Just got a little backyard here. Little dogs next door. Just kind of small backyard. Neighbors are real well maintained. Neighbors are real well maintained. Remember, these windows are going to have to be replaced. They're vinyl, but they're uh, you can tell they're they're old. Let's go down to the basement. It's hard to see down here. It's got low ceiling height, a lot of paneling on the walls, uh, and a vinyl floor. Uh, here's the boiler. Boiler looks pretty old. Pipes look all right, but the boiler itself is probably going to have to be replaced. Water heater is a couple years old. It's copper right there, uh, but up there, see it ties into. Uh, Ties into uh, to galvanized, so uh, probably the probably the whole house is galvanized uh, plumbing. So that's all going to have to be replaced. A little bar back here, and again a lot of more paneling. And a little unfinished area up here. You've got the water main. It's always good to check out the water main. This is where the uh, the street connects to the to the house, and we got three quarter inch copper water main. So that's really a, a very good sign. We're just going to have to uh, have the plumber evaluate the plumbing in the rest of the house very carefully because we saw some galvanized by the water heater. Head towards the back of the basement here with the electrical boxes. Get another unfinished space. Uh, really, with the electrical box, you got 100 amps. Room in the breaker or room in the box for more breakers. Uh, for service cable doesn't look too old at the meter. So mechanically, um, need a new boiler. Gonna have to have the plumber take a real careful look at the plumbing uh, because we've got a mix of copper and galvanized, and electrically we're not in bad shape. Let's head upstairs. You can see this paneling is real tight. Looks really good actually. So we'll probably end up keeping that. Carpeting's all got to go. It's just too dirty and beat up. Let's go to the front room or back room. Uh, got tall trim. A lot of uh, chipping and flaking paint. This is all here, this uh, windowsill. That's all chipping and flaking paint. That's all lead paint. So that's all got to go. You got the same on the, uh, on the base trim. Which probably means that since this is pretty much an original house, that you got uh, lead paint on all the walls. It's just a consideration when you're deciding whether to laminate the, uh, laminate the walls or not. Got the middle bedroom. Uh, um, got more base trim. Same condition as uh, the other room with some wire molding. The walls are plaster. Could keep these walls because they're not in bad condition. Alright, we got the uh, bathroom here. Mm. This layout's not really good. We're not a fan of, uh, of having sh the stalls like this. We like to have a real tub surround. So, got a lot of old fixtures in here as well, and the uh, you got cracks in the floors and on the tile. 
So uh, we're going to end up gutting this whole bathroom and redoing it. And then the front bedroom, again, same, uh, same trim and wire molding as the other bedrooms. Uh, probably going to have to redo a fair amount of that because it's just old and original. And you got uh, some chipping and flaking paint on the door as well. So we'll probably end up replacing these doors with, with six panel doors. And then again, old vinyl replacement windows. And then your roof on the front of your porch here is starting to crack up. So uh, you can assume that the top of the house looks the same. All right, so this is 2529 Denison Street. It's property we're probably going to end up keeping as a rental. So uh, feel free and invite you to follow us throughout the, uh, throughout the renovation of this property. And uh, as we take it from uh, its current condition to a uh, finished rental. Thanks very much. This is Jack over at Dominion.